you're into camping and real camping, not just you know, music and making a scene, a great campground to come and explore. And This <laughs> oh, G'day everyone, Adam here going over and we've got Haley, Joe, Larissa. And this week we are doing the last point on the map. The most easterly point. How yeah. exciting. <laughs> it's probably a bit windy, but um yeah, crazy weekend for us. We're gonna go camp in a national park uh, west of here. Yep. And uh um, super excited. Yeah, see how it goes. Alright, yeah. thanks for watching guys. Woo! Most point of Australia. Australia. Pretty cool. Busy though. Well, that's it. It's the most point done. That was amazing. That was I don't great. know how good the video, the sound quality would be. It's pretty windy. Oh, the walk was a lot longer than what we're expecting too. So, but very good walk as yeah, well. Yeah, good fun. It was a good little walk. It was really pretty, even though it's a bit cloudy. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. So we're yeah. gonna go to the brewery. Yep. Um, and have some lunch there before we uh, head over to, towards camp. Yep. Yep. Good afternoon. Yeah. Right, we're off to the Stone and Wood Brewery. Let's go. 
What do you think about this road, Adam? Yeah, wow, it's a slow road, but it's a beautiful drive. Uh, yeah. We're sort of coming up the back way, heading north into the uh, National Park. The road has got big potholes from all that wild weather they had. There's been roads and bridges um, flushed away. Yeah. Uh, but Massive. wow, this is, oh, look at these trees. Look at that tree, wow. It feels Massive. like you're in the south corner of uh, WA. Or Tassie, Tassie as well. Just there. beautiful. To move over a bit. What we might do is just go over a bit more. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. If you go over a bit, we can. Because we can get it right over and then we can have that. Are you going to unhook the car? Whoa, 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 whoa. Rummery Park campground. campground. Really nice. It's only small. A lot of the people here are hikers. Mm, Very quiet. Beautiful. So, um, but beautiful spot, isn't it? Especially yeah. in these conditions with the rain. It's yeah. like picture perfect, like proper rainforest stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we'll get the, the walk done that I wanted to because I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow and it's a 7k walk or something. Too. Yeah, but there's a couple other waterfalls here we might check out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is really nice. This is what Overlanding's about. It's about finding new areas, checking mm. them out. And sometimes you're uh, you're lucky out, sometimes you're on a winner. Yeah, this one's a winner so far. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we're going to go explore with the kids. Very good. Watch out, Mum. Got any tuna or any bait in there? Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of chicken. Oh, you hear that? Might yeah. be good. Might be good fish here. Just yabbies, I think. Dice mango, apparently. Beautiful scenery. Oh, it's freezing though. <laughs> there is the sandy. One second. Let me get this right. There's the sandy troopers. Cracker of the day here. We've just been chilling out, 
Going for a little walks, bike rides. Yeah, be hunting with Joe. There's, uh, what sort of snake? Was that a carpet snake or a python? That was a python. Yeah, we lost him. Right? He disappeared. Yeah, there's a. Uh, oh, we played a card game. There's a big. Uh, shower in here. Yeah, it's so good. It's a great little campsite. It's not the place to come and party and have music going. Because it's like full have, of. You need to respect the place around you. Yeah, respect you the other people. You need to care about your, the place that's near you. That's right, there's a lot of hikers. Especially if there's other campers, don't make out noise at all. Because mm. they'll get mad at you. Very quiet campsite, which is what you want. It's perfect. So if you're into camping and real camping, not just, you know, music and making that's a scene. Weird. A great campground to come in and explore and like chill out and do camping. nothing. Go for a bushwalk if you want. Um, this is like 18 walkers in one. Larissa's is on a walk right now. She is. She's on her way back. She's on her way back. Yeah. It's been such a relaxing day. And I think the coastline's only about 45 minutes from here. The hustle and bustle of Byron Bay. Come in here and camp for a couple of bucks a night. Loving it. This is what it's about. Look at this. It's not like you can break the campsite. Or is it a real snake? No, that's a snake toy. Are you sure it's a toy? That could be a real snake. That's a dead snake. That's a toy. <laughs> oh, that'll scare the girls. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you found that in the water. That's good to get the plastic out. We'll have some fun with that later on, eh? Yeah. We'll get the girls. I told you. Good. I Joe found something pretty incredible. What is it? This. <gasps> oh, shame. <laughs> it's a real snake. Oh my god. Sorry. So cool. <laughs> but Joe found it in the water. You don't have shoes on, buddy. <laughs> what are you going to call him, Joe? Sonic? No, he's actually very slow. Yeah, if he gets a fright, though, <laughs> he'll run up you like a tree. Mm. You should let him on your hat. <laughs> yeah, you should. Go put the hat on the goanna. He'll look cute. No, no, no. Leave him alone, Joe. No, they. <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vicious. Violent, mum. Go play. What do you have to? Me, just trying to kill the kids with a soccer ball. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Joe? Have a look at this big old tree here. She's cut down. It's about two and a half meters off the ground. The worst thing is, look, there's the tree there. They didn't even use it. Massive old tree. What are you doing, Joe? Craving a weapon against leeches. <laughs> I could just use my knife, but <laughs> I don't want to stab myself. It's a kookaburra. The kookaburra's watching you. I could throw this at them if I wanted to, but they're just too beautiful. Mm. I would never harm one of those birds, unless I had to. Now you're going with that knife. Yep. Pretty good? Yeah. Good little, um, good little gift? Yeah. How much was it? I think you said four bucks, maybe? Yeah, that's how much I'm willing to spend on you. <laughs> if this breaks, so I get four bucks. Back and I get to get, get buy something for four bucks. When I was younger, I remember my parents bought me a, um, it's a pocket knife with a spoon and a knife on one side and a fork on the other side, and you can split them apart. And it was so much fun. And then the Connors got them for a lot. Right now they're on sale for like five bucks. And um, yeah, kids are loving it. Good little toy. Oh, it's not a toy. It's a tool. I'm making toys. You've got to be nice, safe with it. Morning, everyone. Morning, that was a beautiful.
beautiful night again. Oh, amazing, such a cool little campground. I, I've got to say, we're going to be back there. Yeah. It was really, it's a, it's really a, beautiful spot. And it's a quiet spot. It's not a place to come and party and play music in. No. It's a place to come and connect with, you know, a rainforest. It was so... With nature. Normally you hate camping in the rain, but being in a rainforest when it's raining, it's something, something about it. It's just really nice. It is yeah. relaxing. Um, so relaxing. Best night's sleep at a national park campground that I think I've ever, ever had. Yep, and um, everyone's quiet. It was yeah. like everyone had the same mindset. Yep. So it was really good. So anyway, we're going to go hit a little walk on the way out mm -hmm. um, before we head home. There's, um, I forget what it's called, but there's all these waterfalls along the wall. So yeah. go check that out. And That's then, if it's uh, even open because there was quite a lot of rain through the night. So we're, you know, we're going there without service, not able to check. So if it's not open, you know, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's hit the road. Yep. Go. Cool. Cool. So we just got home, that was a fantastic weekend. Once again, thanks to Sandy Troopers for coming with us. You guys are great fun. Uh, quick job unpacking. We're going away again next weekend, so we won't be unpacking too much. But the important thing is when you go away camping, you've got to make sure everything's dry. You can't let it sit for one or two days, it starts going moldy straight away. So everything's out, everything's going to be dry. I'll end up again next weekend. And um, come along with us. Thanks guys, see you next weekend.